court started once again with a big fine for former President Trump for violating his gag order. The $1,000 penalty marks the 10th imposed so far. Now, Judge Juan Mershon says financial penalties might not be enough, saying in court, quote, I do not want to impose a jail sanction and have done everything I can to avoid doing so, but I will if necessary. Trump, before entering the courtroom, complained again about the order. As you know, they've taken away my constitutional rights, so I'm not allowed to answer that question. Uh, this has never happened in this country before. Most still believe it's unlikely for a former president to be put in jail. It would be disastrous politics for the Democrats, for the judge to put former President Trump in jail over this. So he'll continue to fine him. And as long as that's what it is, I think Trump should just pay the fine and otherwise say what he wants to say. Monday's witness testimony picked back up with Jeff McConney, the Trump Organization's former controller. McConney was asked about his involvement in approving several payments to former Trump attorney Michael Cohen around the time Cohen paid Stormy Daniels $130,000. Prosecutors are trying to prove Trump was directly involved with falsifying business records to conceal another crime like tax fraud or to interfere with the 2016 election. Hundreds of thousands of dollars to Cohen were marked as legal fees. One payment was doubled for tax reasons. It's clear a crime was committed and it's clear what happened. Did Donald Trump do it? That's the thing that I think I think is is what is missing. The prosecution's key witness will be Michael Cohen. He could take the stand as soon as this week. In New York, Connor Hansen, Fox News.